What's your best Bill Belichick story? All right. Look. Tom. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? All right. All right. Look. Tom. All right. So it was a situation where, you know, I was going through, you know, some contract, you know, some contract stuff before. And um, Bill was like, hey, we need to restructure your contract. And I was like, well, is this going to be like an extension? You know what I mean? You just say some, some cap space or whatever. And I was like, you know, okay. But after we got it all down, I'm like, Wait a minute, so that's a fucking pay cut. What is that? That ain't saving me no that ain't saving me no money. I don't even gotta send my agent this shit. You know, you know what I mean? But then we went through it and then so he hits me and um it was a good friend, uh, you know, on the team. I ain't gonna say no names. I can't put it out there like that. And he was like, Hey, look, if you don't restructure this, man, we're gonna we have to cut your boy. I was like, Well, I guess he'll cut ass. Well, I ain't giving you shit, you know. I'm like, that ain't happening. I said, I guess I guess I better go tell my boy that, hey, bro, hey, man, get your neck, get you before I see you, something like that, you know what I mean? But it, like I said, we, but you know, but that's Bill being Bill and all that. So we end up, uh, we end up working it out. I restructured. I said, look, I don't care about it. as long as I'm getting paid the same thing is because I didn't call in and try to get no more money. And even though a lot of stuff got blown out of proportion, we worked it out. I restructured my contract. My dog was still there, you know what I mean? And, you know, we move on. But all we had to do was just, we didn't even have to go through all that. Oh, but Bill. You, but you, ch- you know, you know, they try to do that and test your loyalty. Coach Parcells tried me when I was a rookie. But I like I like to say I'm a little bit of a different breed. I got a mind of my own. So now they came in and put me at the end zone. The end zone was even better, but it was still shitty when you was there, right? Yeah. The end zone hotel. I lived there for uh, a couple months, but when I came, for my visit, it was myself, Curtis Martin. They end up drafting the both of us. You know how you just go on the visit, they want to talk to you, interview you, stuff like that. So Coach Parcells brought me into the office and said, look, hey, man, I, we, we like you, but we don't like who you got representing you. He's like, you know, those uh those Poston brothers, man. I, he said, I can't draft you with that. And so I'm sitting there myself. You know, people had me project to go to the uh, – Detroit Lions at, at number, I think they had the, the 21st pick of the draft. And I'm sitting there like, you know what? After what I seen, looking at Foxborough Stadium, I'm seeing all these trailer parks up here and shit. I'm like, <laughs> man, okay. That made me keep my agent even more. Because <laughs> I ain't, man, y'all, you couldn't even put me in a Marriott. Yeah. You couldn't put me, you know, I'm thinking I'm about to go to the league, you know, risk call and get some room service or some shit like that, man. Man, bruh. I was not trying to come to New England just because of that. But when he get told me that, oysters. but when he told me that, what he tried to do was get into you know a young guy's head, see what you think. And so that's the divide and conquer, you know, mentality. Saying that you know you might want to draft me, you know, I don't know that. But if you think I'm gonna go and fire my agent just because of what you said? Even if I had my agent and I'm with you and you don't want to get the deal done, you need, no, that yeah. that that's not happening. So he, my agent, brought it up to Bill Parcells and. Bill's like, well, I had to try because, <laughs> hey, <laughs> and guess what? And, and I got, you know, at that time, you know, I got a nice rookie deal, you know, which was I got as equivalent to like the 17th pick, even though I was a 23rd pick. And then, of course, when, you know, when it was time to, you know, really get paid, you know, I was, for, I was the highest paid uh, defensive back in the, in the league. I mean, uh, it's a production business. It, exactly. Exactly. It's exactly. a production business. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you get paid, you get that production. But that's funny that he tried to okie doke you. Oh, um, he tried to okie doke me twice. That's the Bill okie doke. Yeah, want me to give you one more? Let's hear it. Okay, since we out there and everything gone now. So now, now I had a uh, it, 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 in my contract. Wait, do we do we do we, do we shot oh, you a know clock? What? Oh, god damn it! Shot a clock. 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 I mean, we're talking Bill. You got to get a little toasty. Oh yeah, on grilled pineapple. We got we about to we about to mess with Bill a little bit. Let's cheers. We love him. We love him. Mm-hmm. Oh, hell yeah. So let's go to Bill's ass, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, hey, is we drinking or thinking? Shit. All right. So Bill, I had a contract. So, of course, you know, he came, you know, from the Jets. I, you know, and at the time, I was the only person on the roster that was still under Pete Carroll's contract. So I signed a big deal. I was with Pete. You yeah. know, Pete really went to bat. And like I said, I earned my shit. But I was under that contract. So you know how it is. They only can touch your contract once. Once they touch it, you can't touch it for the rest of the year. You know what I mean? They would try to avoid me like the play. So next to Drew, I was next. <laughs> but they would go to everybody else because they knew 
you know, at the time that uh, don't come mess with me about that shit. That, that, that's not happening. So anyway, I had a, uh, a bonus in my uh, contract where I get X amount of dollars if I come uh, and make weight. And I had a reporting bonus. So I had a reporting bonus. You know, I, I can Ty, say you it had now a, because it's Ty, a, you had a weight. You had a weight clause. Huh? No, that's what's part of my reporting bonus. I, I got to come on time, make weight, uh, pass the uh, conditioning test. Yeah, we all got that. Exactly. I got a million dollars for mine, though. Workout bonus, million bucks. No, that was reporting bonus. My workout bonus was a hundred thousand. You know, so that's that, what the story. Just in case they catch it, just in case they catch it, they yeah. save a mil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> they know you can do it. Yeah, just in just, case. Just in case. So that was slipping. your incentive to come in and, like I said, I was gonna pass the conditioning test. Hey, I don't give a damn if I had to sit in the sauna for fifty hours straight. I'm gonna get that damn bonus. Easy. You know what I mean? Easy. But it was a hundred thousand. So you know, when I came in, I got the, uh, I came in and got my checks. You know what I mean? At the time, you know, you had direct direct deposit, but you get your receipt. Yeah. So yeah. I got I got one. I'm like, well, where my damn, where my other, where my little hundred thousand at? So, yeah, of course, you know, I go down. They say I go upstairs, and they say hey, you gotta go talk to Bill. I'm like, well, shit. Okay, hey Bill, well, I'm missing a hundred thousand. He's like, well. He said, we didn't talk this year. I said, what are you talking about? Because I went to Bob Kersey, you know, the great Bob Kersey, Olympic, you know, uh, gold medal winning coach. I trained with him. I never stayed in the off season, yeah. you know, um, for the program. So, you know, I got under my contract as long as it was approved by the head coach or GM, which it always was, I get both checks. So he said, we didn't talk this year because we talked last year because, like I said, he was fairly new to it and he approved it. It was fine. So I was just assume. It's like that every year. Yeah, I was. I signed this shit when you was a jet. You remember you was a jet when I when I signed this contract. So when you came here, it is we talked jet for you guys. That don't, that's a, a little child. Yes, yeah, exactly. or young in your your yeah, profession. Yeah, exactly, that's some, that's some Florida talk. Yeah, exactly. So now I I come to he sit there and like no, I'm like Bill, man. All right. So I called my financial advisor. I was like, yo, did that million clear yet? Oh, not yet. So, you know. I uh, went out, I left and I came back. So Bill know me. So I'm coming back in and bearish. He was like, hey, I was, he said, he's in there. Bill had my contract sitting on, <laughs> he had my contract sitting on uh, his Laid desk. out. Laid out, highlighted. <laughs> he, he had the shit highlighted saying, hey, it has to be approved of this, that, that, that language. I'm like, and it was always approved. You was a fucking jet. He said, well, Andy Wisechuck is no longer the GM. And I'm the head coach, and I say no, fine. So I was like, all right. I just took my ass to the locker room, got my stuff out the thing, and I walked on out. I was gone for three days. See, it wasn't no social media and all that stuff yeah. there. So it, we, I was gone for three days, bro. And um, finally got the call because they got to call you and say, and this is during training camp, but I know in training camp you cannot find me more than $1,200 a day. So as far uh, it was $1,000 a day at the time. Yeah, it's like so, 20 now. Huh? It's like twenty grand. Oh yeah, unexcused absence. Keep going. Yeah, so it was it was a thousand. It was like, it was it was no. It was it was a five thousand. Was it five thousand? Yeah, it was five thousand. So I said, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I got twenty practices. I'll be back at at uh on day twenty one to get that six million salary. I'll be back for that. But if I'm losing hundred thousand, I'm gonna lose this shit legit. So I was I was gone. You know what I mean? So eventually, Bears called me, got on the phone, bring your ass down here. Da da da. <laughs> All right, I said, Bill, with my money. He said, you come down here, we talk about that shit later. So I go. Going to we, the principal's we, office. No, That's what people no, don't he realize. He, no, he no, calls exactly. the principal's office. No, he, so he told me to come to go to the game because we were playing down in Washington. So you didn't practice all camp? No, I, did, I, I was gone for three days. I left. Oh, three days. Exactly. Because guess you, what? Because guess what? The million cleared. Okay, okay. That was clear. That was in the bank. So as far as I'm concerned, I got $100,000 right here that's out there. And to me. Where I come from, that's a lot of goddamn money. That's a lot of money that, that, anywhere. That, that's the kind that you don't get a financial advisor. You get him a million, but the, you keep a hundred thousand yourself. You know, that's you know, just, do do what you got to do. You know, hey. that's that's the pocket change at that time. That's, you know, that's when you a get lot of money. that's a lot of money. But two things. Right. So, like I said, where I come from, that's life changing. So for me, I was like, I'm not that guy. I'm going to leave, and I'll be back. But it also had the status of who I was too, so I knew that as well. So do what you got to do. So I left. He called me. Get your ass on the plane. We go on the wall. I think we was watching preseason. He didn't start me. He put me in with the goddamn scrubs, bro. Willie, Willie, and everybody eating hot dogs on the sideline, laughing and shit. <laughs> so I, he puts me in. So now all the guys on the other side, 
they really going. You know, they trying to make yeah, the team. Yeah, trying they, to make a team. Yeah, and they trying get to tie off. I'm getting cut and all that. I was like, man, you know, they Willie then was clowning, laughing, right? So we comes back and <laughs> next day had to come in on Monday. I didn't even take my stuff off. I was at the I was at uh, the table eating breakfast, still with my clothes on. You know, Bill came by with an envelope. He sat it right to me. He's like, "Fucking asshole." <laughs> So I was like, open up the check, eighty five thousand. Dot me three days, <laughs> Damn, bro. Freaking bill. Hey, hey, but hey, I, I, hey, hey, that's bill for you though. You bill. know, what I mean? bill. He, he docked me this fucking three days, man. So I mean, but we like I said, we got a great relationship and the respect from there. But it was just at the time. I wasn't the one. I, I made sure that she was clear, though, man. But you got to you gotta put your foot down sometime, man. 